The buzzer has sounded for competitive sports in Saskatchewan, at least temporarily. It has hockey associations looking for alternatives on how to lace up within the new rules. Our members are scrambling to make it work and they will make it work because they want, they certainly want kids to keep going. I, I know there's, you know, in Regina, I think they've decided to shut down their association for three weeks. On Wednesday, the province announced all team sports and group recreation gatherings will be suspended starting Friday. However, those 18 and younger can continue to practice in cohorts of eight while keeping a three meter distance and not sharing a field, rink or surface with another cohort. It's a whole back situation now trying to figure out what we can do for competition because no one likes to train forever. And that's the whole thing. They want to play a game or they want to run track and do their event. One psychologist says it's important for parents, guardians and coaches to talk with their kids and players about keeping a positive mindset to avoid adverse effects on their mental health. So one of the most important things we can do if we're affected directly or if we're the parents or caregivers of those that are struggling is to help give some perspective and revise and ever so slightly refine that catastrophic thinking. All of the associations we spoke with feel as if they're being punished, saying teams have played by the rules with no large outbreaks so far. They add that a drop in registration fees and income from clubhouses could be devastating. With this decision, it appears that uh, government is determining what type of fitness people can be involved in and have chosen the private business owners over the nonprofit sport organizations, all of which, of course, have bills to pay. The associations all say they're working with the government to determine best practices so athletes can continue to play safely. Kyle Benning, Global News.